Thomas Jefferson said that slavery was a moral disparity. He believed that the biggest threat to the American nation was slavery. Thaddeus Kosciuszko's view of America was a melting point where all men were created equal regardless of race, nationality, creed, or religion. Did Thomas Jefferson leave a template behind for reparations? Or more importantly, could he have avoided the Civil War? Welcome to Liz Wellner Anderson. This is a network where we talk about economic, historical, and political things in simple terms. Thaddeus Kosciuszko was born February 4th, 1746, in present-day Belarus, near Poland. Current conditions in Poland were serfdom, no political rights, poverty, peasants bound to the land, and no rights to own property. This was imposed by the Russians and the Prussians. At that time in Europe was probably the greatest chance of inequality. The aristocracies of Europe, the Habsburgs, the Germans, the French aristocracy, the French Portuguese and Spanish and Dutch empires had put in colonies all over the world. It was worldwide inequality. Thaddeus Kosciuszko's background, he studied arts in Paris. In Paris at the time, he met Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson recruited him to work for the new country. Kosciuszko was a trained engineer, but had other skills. He was a statesman, he was a patriot, and he was a natural leader. He became George Washington's chief engineer and developed principal fortifications at West Point in Saratoga that helped us win the war. And during that time, he had constant interactions with black soldiers and had the highest esteem for them. After the war was over, he returned to Poland in 1784 and issued the proclamation the proclamation of Polonic calling for the freedom of the Poles calling he was called as I said the Polish George Washington and in 1797 he went on a worldwide tour back to the United States where he was told he had $5,000 that was due to him for his service in the war. During that time, Jefferson and Kosciuszko played a great deal of time together, spent a great deal of time together in Monticello. That was the home of Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was made the executor of the $5,000 in assets that Kosciuszko left behind. Kosciuszko said specifically that he wanted the money to be used to emancipate the, the slaves and use that money as an initial input to get their lives started. Jefferson agreed. But the issue here is Jefferson found it very difficult to find people to administer the will. He did not want to do it. But the influence that Thomas Jefferson could have had in that time in implementing the will may have been rejected, may, may have been important. Kosciuszko dies in Switzerland in 1817, but he had made it clear to Jefferson that he wanted that money to be used for the emancipation of slavery and to give them a shot at getting to the American dream. Kosciuszko did not know that Jefferson was in debt. Also, 
Kosciuszko in Poland had issued a, an, an edict where he had given his Polish dollars to feed the Polish servants. Now Jefferson was in a dilemma. Why didn't Jefferson use the money from Kosciuszko's estate to free his own slaves? He was in debt, Sally Hemings, his own family. Jefferson might have also been able to present to, to prevent the Civil War by utilizing Casiasso's will. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in a second. Jefferson claimed the reason why he could not spend time on the probate of Kosciuszko, his friend's will, was because he did not have the time. He was building the University of Virginia. How could a man not have the time to implement his friend's will, but spend all that time working to build a major university? In a letter that was sent to Jefferson, I mean, that Jefferson sent, to Jared Sparks, it explains specifically how much each slave cost, how to compensate them, or how to compensate owners. He developed a, a template in this letter that could be used for reparations. Sparks was a member of, of the American Colonial Society. That was also a society that Abraham Lincoln and Henry Clay were associated with. The goal of the American Colonial Society was to take black Americans who had no contact at that point in time and move them back to Africa and get them started. That was not the goal of the Kosciuszko will. Thomas Jefferson had a great deal of problems finding someone to be the executor of the will because they knew the potential of the problem. So the will lay dormant, went through a bunch of hands, and by 1852, the Supreme Court under Roger Taney ruled that the will of Kosciuszko would be given to his relatives or in Poland and in Switzerland. In the book, this book here I'm showing you, this is Friends of Liberty. This book was written about the special relationship between those three men, uh, Kosciuszko, Adia Hill, and Franklin Dunn, I'm sorry, and a, um, Thomas Jefferson. And in the book, it explains how close Kosciuszko was with the American blacks that served under him. But more importantly, on page 229 and 230, it states that Thomas Jefferson had no knowledge of or had not written anything about reparations. That, in this book, is totally incorrect. If you saw the letter written by, by Jefferson to Sparks, it completely spells out a reparations plan. So why didn't Thomas Jefferson have all this time to dedicate for the University of Virginia, but no time to execute his friend's will? That's the question. He had a unique opportunity to solve the slave issue. I'd like to thank you for your time. Please give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. I'm going to bring you more relevant information and I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.